G'day viewers, a new update's come out for Train Sim Classic. Brings it up to date with the development tools. You may find that when you try and drive in the game, that you run into an issue with crashing, getting an out of memory error. There's two causes for this. The first one is a corrupted cache, which often happens on an upgrade. I actually suggest to people that every time you install any kind of DLC or you change the game, you want to clear the cache. So to do that, you go to settings, tools, clear cache, and just say yes, and the game will restart. And it'll restart in your preferred edition. It's worth noting this is the last edition of Train Simulator that will support 32-bit. So after this one, no more. Now, if you find after you've done that that you still have a problem, it's most likely caused by the size of images in third-party content. So the first-party developers and the official developers adhere to the guidelines provided by Dovetail for the size of the images that should be here for locomotives and trains or for routes. So if you have a look at the uh, different images around, they have to be a particular size. They're meant to be less than one meg. If you find that they're not, that will actually cause problems with the game. Now, some of the ones that I've seen are absolutely massive. I've seen one file of a, more than 100 meg. Now, if you think about it, why is someone providing a picture this big when its target is this big? It's just a little bit silly. So how do you get rid of things like that? Well, it's relatively easy. You just need to run a program that you will find in your train sim folder called utilities.exe and it pop up, go into package manager, and I've just cleared the case, so this will take a little while because it's gonna load in all of the things that I've got installed. You should of course do this without the game running, so don't leave it running in the background like I am. And find when you found the route that's causing you the problem, so when you try and do a quick drive, you try and drive a uh, standard or a career scenario, or even a free roam, then let's say we discover that um, I don't know which one could be causing us problems. Let's say Bluebell's causing us problems. You just find it in the list, click it, and then click uninstall, and it will take that route out. Restart the game. It could be worth clearing the cache again, because like I said, I always suggest that when you add or remove DLC, because it just helps the game make sure everything's fresh. And try then, and hopefully you'll be right. If that doesn't work for you, there's one more thing to do. Jump into dovetailgames.freshdesk.com slash support slash home. Here you'll find a whole lot of articles for all of the ones and you want to go to Train Simulator Classic and there's a, a bunch of help and FAQ type things to help you work out what's wrong. If you can't, still can't figure out what's wrong, just log in or sign up if you haven't already and put in a ticket and the people at Dovetail will be very happy to help you. So bear in mind we're coming up to a weekend, it might take them a little while, if you've got any questions, chuck them down below and I will try and help you out. Alrighty, thanks for watching folks. See you later.